हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज आलोक सेमवाल एंड टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस इन दिस टॉपिक आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन फैक्टर्स ऑफ एक्टिंग इलेक्ट्रोफोरेटिक मोबिलिटी एंड टेक्निक्स ऑफ पेपर एंड कैपिलरी इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस सो द टर्म इलेक्ट्रोफोरसिस इज डिराइव फ्रॉम इलेक्ट्रो प्लस फोरसिस इन विच इलेक्ट्रो मीन्स चार्ज पार्टिकल एंड फोरसिस इंडिकेट्स मूवमेंट कंबाइनली दे इंडिकेट द माइग्रेशन ऑफ अ चार्ज पार्टिकल अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड मैनी इंपॉर्टेंट बायोलॉजिकल मॉलिक्यूल्स सच एज अमीनो एसिड्स पेप्टाइड्स प्रोटीन्स न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स एंड न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स कंटेन्स आइनाइजेबल ग्रुप्स and therefore at any given ph exists in solution as electrically charged species either as cations or anions under the charge of an electric field these charged particles will migrate either to cathode or to anode depending on the nature of their net charge electrophoresis is used in laboratories to separate macromolecules based on their size In the process of electrophoresis large molecules have more difficulty in moving through the supporting medium for example gel whereas the smaller medium has more mobility through it the rate of migration of charged molecules depends upon following factors first the strength of electric field size and shape relative hydrophobicity of the sample ionic strength and temperature of the buffer molecular size of the taken biomolecule net charge density of the taken biomolecule and shape of the taken biomolecule next is classification of electrophoresis All modern electrophoretic apparatus have supporting media these days. A supporting media is a physical support through which the charged molecules get separated. It has two primary functions: adsorption and molecular sieving of the taken molecules which are intended to be separated. Some of the frequently used supporting media are starch, agar, polyacrylamide, and agarose electrophoresis methods can be classified as free electrophoresis zone electrophoresis paper electrophoresis cellulose acetate electrophoresis capillary electrophoresis and gel electrophoresis in this lecture we will learn about paper and capillary electrophoresis So the first technique we will discuss is paper electrophoresis. In this type of electrophoresis a filter paper such as a chromatographic paper having a slight adsorption capacity and uniform pore size is used as a supporting medium for the separation of samples under the influence of an applied electric field. In the method of paper electrophoresis a strip of filter paper is moist with buffer and ends of the strip are immersed into buffer reservoirs containing the electrodes The analyte or samples are spotted in the center of the paper and high voltage is applied Due to the movement of sample particles spots migrate according to their charges After electrophoresis the separated components can be detected by a variety of staining techniques depending upon their chemical identity Applications of paper electrophoresis includes serum analysis for diagnostic purpose detection of myosin which is a muscle protein albumin and egg protein and casein a milk protein Other than these 
snake and insect venoms are also detectable by the use of paper electrophoresis. The only disadvantage of this method is that it is a very time consuming process. Second technique is capillary electrophoresis. Capillary electrophoresis is a relatively new separation technique which provides very attractive features which make it both competitive and a good alternative over other complicated traditional techniques. In this technique, capillary of a narrow bore tube is employed to separate the samples based on their size to charge ratio. In capillary electrophoresis, separation of analyte ions is performed in an electrolyte solution which is also known as background electrolyte present in a narrow fuse silica capillary. The ends of the capillary are immersed into inlet and outlet vials filled with electrolyte solution. Inlet and outlet vials also contain electrodes connected to a high voltage supply. The sample solution is introduced in the capillary as a small plug by applying pressure through hydrodynamic injection or by voltage through electrokinetic injection. Due to the high voltage, Across the capillary, zones of analyte are formed due to different electrophoretic mobilities of ionic species which tends to migrate towards the outlet side of the capillary. In fact, different ions can be separated when their charge to size ratio differs. Before reaching the end of capillary, the separated analyte band can be analyzed directly through the capillary wall. Advantages of capillary electrophoresis includes high separation efficiency, short analysis time, low sample and electrolyte consumption, and ease of operation. One of the major advantages of capillary electrophoresis over other separation technique is the ability to separate both charged and non-charged molecules. The only disadvantage this technique has is due to the small diameter of the capillary tube, heat is dissipated that causes increased diffusion. Because of this, the resolution is not always proper in this technique. Application of capillary electrophoresis Capillary electrophoresis is used in the analysis of food and pharmaceutical products and in the detection of environmental pollutants. Thank you.